You know, I opened the school to protect these kids. How am I supposed to protect them from stuff that's not supposed to exist? Last we saw, one of the statues in the garden had come to life, and lo and behold, we are dealing with a gargoyle in this episode. But before we see what the gargoyle's up to, you should know that everybody's in a lot of trouble. The game. Suck it, loser. Ugh. Not now, Dana! The Saltzman twins have basically participated in a riot as a result of the high school football game gone awry. This is a death spell. Hope Michelson has used black magic, which is against all kinds of school policy and has kind of lost her way. And all of our kids are being sent to pay their penance doing charity cleanup work in downtown Mystic Falls. Which is so unfair, right? Because they didn't really do anything wrong. But we get punished for wanting to win a game fair and square? It wasn't fair. We're supernatural, they're human. And LeBron's maybe the best player ever. Should he quit scoring? Because no one on the court can check him. We're faster. We're stronger. We're better. And you're going to see other beginnings of other storylines, I think, a little bit that will play with it. The, the, the role of how vampires are regula regulated in the school versus how they are not. That's going to begin to start playing. How, how are they treated at the school? Oh. 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 So no one has more persecuted in this situation than Lizzie Saltzman. She's feeling put upon, she's feeling mistreated, and her day sort of takes a fairly epic turn for the terrible, when after being harassed by the local high school kids, she ends up coming face to face with our monster, the gargoyle. Lizzie? Pedro? Run! 